two of these wallpapers really speak Jane Austen. Last week we decided to bring in some beautiful green into the bedroom or I decided in the form of the dresser being painted. And I was a little bit hesitant to share these details with you just because it didn't work. Then as I was thinking about it, I am pretty sure that there are others who have thought, I'm gonna try this and then they do it and then it doesn't work. Real life here in the cottage and I wanna share the second part today with you all. I really wanted a pop of green in here and I painted the dresser green, a beautiful green. I still love the color. I got the dresser in here and I did not like it. I have since painted the dresser back to cream and I hate painting, but it was something that had to be done. So then I thought maybe I can find a new dresser. What I want eventually in here is a beautiful vintage pine dresser. But those are hard to come by and for a decent price. I went with my sister Tara to a neighboring town and we found one. It was $65, but it was junk, so I did not purchase it. I want dressers that are beautiful, but very functional and very nice. So the drawers have to move very smoothly. I found one for $75, 15 minutes away or 20 minutes away. It actually reminds me of a dresser that would be on Sense and Sensibility in their cottage. It was $75 and the drawers work beautifully. I'm going to share that process of me trying to fit that dresser in my bedroom to change it up and how that didn't work. So I moved it in the girls bedroom and it looks like it was made for their bedroom. We're actually wanting to do a makeover in their room and add some wallpaper that will be for a future makeover in their bedroom. But I wanted to share that sometimes the ideas that one has for their home doesn't work and it's okay. Live and learn and I'm going to share some wallpaper samples at the end of the video that I want to incorporate in our bedroom and they are green. So I think that's where I'm going to get my green pop is in some wallpaper. Let's see me put this dresser in this bedroom and see how it didn't work. I want to share with you a beam I want to add in our bedroom. When I first did the bedroom makeover, I was not sure if I wanted to add beams in here. I don't know why. So I made two beams and then Titus and I hung them about two years ago and I love them. But we had a little tiny hallway when you walk into our bedroom and I always knew I wanted a small chunky beam right there. Since I was in here making things over just a bit, I thought it's the perfect time to make this beam and have Titus hang it. It's so small and chunky that I didn't even have to help him hang it because he could just hold it and nail everything in. And I'm going to do a voiceover and just share how I make the beams and I hope you enjoy. And if you want to try your hand at wood beams, I definitely say give it a go. It takes a little bit of shoulder muscle and some arm work, but you got a beautiful beam at the end of this DIY. I hope you enjoy. Let's make some wood chunky beams for my home. I choose pine boards and you can use any size of boards that you want. This is what I'm using. I take a screwdriver and I go down the length of the entire board and make deep grooves in the board. And then I take a hammer and I beat it up to my desired look that I'm wanting. 
and then I take the screwdriver and the hammer and I make deep gouges randomly through the board so it looks even more old and I use early American and weathered oak stain and you can use whatever stain you want to get the color that you want but I like more of a lighter looking beam I apply this stain and it's ready to hang Now that the beam is all ready to hang and old looking, Titus is ready to measure the area and cut the wood and hang the beam. Titus is measuring and going to cut the wood. The support beam is not distressed because no one will see it. He screws the support beam into the ceiling, into the studs, and then he takes a nail gun and nails in the two sides to the support beam, and then he puts the bottom board and nails that into the sides of the beam. Super easy. I hope you try your hand at making wood beams. This is our take on it and they look lovely in person and everyone who comes in my room compliments them and they are so easy and inexpensive to make. So we have our thrift haul, our wood beams being made and I am now sharing a rug. On Prime Day on Amazon, I ordered a rug a couple weeks ago for around $57. And I was thinking, well, I want something vintagey in here, maybe some more color. I was trying to go for some color and get some green in here. And I thought, well, maybe the rug will work. Titus was away on a trip and the girls were asleep and I was just determined to get this rug underneath this bed. I was a little disappointed in the original rug that I purchased for our cottage bedroom. We paid, I think, 400 for the rug and it did not wear well at all. We don't wear shoes in our home. I mean, I will put shoes on and walk out, but to say we wear shoes in our home, we do not. I I'm really surprised how worn the edges of the rug was. So I needed a new rug anyways. So I am going to put this rug down by myself and I literally worked at the sweat. So let's see the process on this rug and I will tell you afterwards if I like it or not. I ordered this rug off of Amazon, but it was prime day. So it was very inexpensive. I want to say it was around $56. It is the moss salmon color and it has the burgundies or rust color. I put my cream pillow, my terracotta duvet on top and I think I like it in here. I think it gives it a bit of a vintage feel, maybe a touch of old world as well. I really like it so I gotta figure out how to get this under the bed. These are the kind of jobs I hate doing and it's gonna take some work but I think it'll be worth it in the end. It has a worn spot, but you really won't notice that because this will be underneath the bed. It's very pretty. I have everything out from underneath the bed, which is hardly anything. I'm going to attempt to pull this rug out and then clean underneath. And then when the girls wake up, have them help me put the new rug down. So let's see how this goes. Now I just have to get it out from the middle part of the bed. I should wait for the girls, but I want to try to get it done so I can clean. There we go. I'm literally working up a sweat. I 
I cleaned behind the headboard. I swept all around the floor. So now I'm gonna attempt to lay the new rug. Wish me luck. These are jobs I really don't like doing, but I want the new rug down so I can finish the room. I do not like the rug. I do love the rug. I think it's beautiful, but I don't like it in here. I have since ordered a new rug. I needed a new rug anyway, so I don't feel too bad about failing in this rug area and trying something new in our bedroom. So I ordered a new rug and it is very plain. It's very simple. I will share it with you on the next video. It was supposed to come in today and I was going to share it with you, but it got pushed out to tomorrow. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose in your home and your DIYs and your makeover. And I feel a little bit funny or silly sharing the details with you. I really want to keep things real and just share with you my highs, my lows. But I did win in picking out wallpaper samples. I am definitely incorporating wallpaper in here. These wallpaper samples are from Sandberg Wallpaper. You guys know that I love, love anything Jane Austen. And I feel like two of these wallpapers really speak Jane Austen and very cottage and they're green. The first one that I love is this pattern called Beata Garden Green. The sample is literally gorgeous. And what I love about this sample is it's a very pretty blue green, like the perfect mix of a blue green. It has a beautiful flower in between the scallops. I love, love this one. This one is called Caroline Moss Green. This is a beautiful green with a bit of gray in it. It really just says green. This would just be very flowy, whereas this one would make a very big statement. I love both of these very much. I'm deciding between these two. Okay, so I love my fig candles from Anthropology. I love my fig Pura fragrance from Anthropology that I use in our bedroom. So when I saw this wallpaper called Fig Garden, Garden Green, I had to order it. I absolutely love it. It is a beautiful, I'm gonna say it has gray in it, but it does have a little bit of green to it. And I think it's very pretty as well, but I feel like for my bedroom, this will not work, but I do like this sample. So I'm trying to decide if I wanna wallpaper this whole entire wall or just add a chair rail maybe two feet down from the ceiling and then wallpaper the rest border all the way through my bedroom. Let me know if I should do the full wall or maybe a really chunky border all the way across to my bedroom door. So I'm not afraid to try some DIYs just because I failed in the two here in the bedroom. I'm gonna keep moving forward. And for those of you asking, I am still working in the entryway. I have just got a little sidetracked, I know. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope that you leave with some inspiration and I hope that it really pushes you forward not to be afraid to try something new in your home. And if you fell, you fell, just work around it and try again. I love and appreciate each and every one of you and I will see you guys on the next video.